Well, there it is. Our new fifth wheel, new fifth wheel slider. You see how it is now. See how this channel and this channel. This is your basically your standard, I think, anymore in these, you know, Hollands or whatever they call them. You know, it's just a solid channel there. And this actually mounts here. So, I mean, you can still slide. But look at this. This is on the Freightliner. This is the exact setup that was on the Kenworth. And uh, these pins would slide in. And this was the channel here. You guys can see that. That was the channel that ended to just go up and down those ribs like that. I think I like my new setup a lot better than I like this setup. Because this setup gave, you know, there's a gap in here and it, it gave wiggle room. That's all it was to it. I don't like wiggle room. Maybe this will actually help with a little lean-in problem too. Because the old one that was on the Kenworth here, it was shot. I mean, it was like beyond shot, shot. It was more shot than what I thought it was shot. But it would actually, with those gaps that used to be there, I mean, when I hit a corner, I, I just, I never could watch it, but it always felt like it had a give like that. And the Kenworth would just dig. It would just lean into every corner the wrong way. You know, you're going that way, going that way, didn't lean that way. So who knows? Let's go drive a truck. Yeah, you guessed it. We're back in the truck. No, there's no Opie. Don't worry, we're not going that far. We're going to run up to Lamar's, Iowa and grab our trailer. Instead of leaving today, like I probably should leave for today, but we're going to run up to Lamar's, Iowa, grab our ice cream trailer, because with that new fifth wheel back there, we should be able to axle out an ice cream load now. Because before, it was always way too far back. Yeah, we should be able to axle out an ice cream load. We will find out today. I think I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about weight distribution and how what that just meant about when I said uh, axle out because a lot of you guys aren't truck drivers so Alrighty, as you can see, we've made it up here to Lamar's, Iowa. I'm going to go ahead and assume that truck right there is a subscriber because uh, she was waving pretty good. Yeah, see, she's still waving. I'm pretty sure that's a subscriber. Um, Alright, so we're going to talk about weight just a little bit today. See where the fifth wheel's at right now? I don't know if that's where it needs to be or not, but if you guys remember, it used to be way back here and I could never, ever axle out an ice cream load because with these ice cream loads they would differ from uh, they would go you know they usually tell you like uh, let's say 40,000 pounds of product they never figure in the pallet weight so you need to add a couple thousand pounds so with this Kenworth W900 she's a heavy girl so you really 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 got to be careful on uh, how much weight you take let alone how much weight you can actually axle out when I say axle out my steer axle can hold 12,000 pounds. You know, this set of tandems here can hold 34,000, and the set of tandems on the back of the trailer can hold 34,000. 
So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go ahead and hook up to this. We're gonna see where it puts the front of the trailer here with the front of the mud flaps here. And uh, that will help me kind of justify where I need to be for the, tra for the truck and the kingpin. So let's go ahead, get it hooked up, and then uh, we'll go from there. That sound good to you guys? Okay. While I'm waiting for the trailer or the truck suspension to air up, I'm going to show you guys just a little tip on if you're going to move that fifth wheel. And you know what? Once we get that fifth wheel moved, I will never move it again. I mean, once it is set, the only time I move it is if I'm hooked up to a hopper bottom trailer or a trailer that has a kingpin set up a little bit further, like a spread axle trailer. But I'm just going to give you this helpful little tip. If you're going to use a loaded trailer to move your fifth wheel, it always works better with an empty trailer, but we're just going to use a loaded one. But we're going to make it easy. Let me show you how we do it. But we are going to go off mic. I got to take the mic off. That way I can move around a little bit easier. This two, this one camera thing, we've made it a year doing it. Um, I think we're done. I think I found my uh, my next camera. It's a camera to where I can actually just dedicate it just to talking to you guys. I don't have to worry about the microphone because it's a, it's a directional microphone on it to where I can turn you like that and uh, still talk to you. Because right now I'm using a shotgun microphone, which means I have to be looking right at you for it to pick up anything good, good wise. And this, this new camera, it's a spendy little devil, so we're not going to be hanging it outside a window or anything. But uh, I, I think it, uh, bada, 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 bada. I keep saying that a lot today. Let, let's just keep going. I think the truck should be aired up by now. All right, yeah, as you can see, the truck's aired up. We're going to put these dollies down real low. We're actually going to go as low as I can get them. There, we got a couple extra turns out of it. Now we're going to drop the air again, and it's going to take all the weight off of that fifth wheel slider. It's going to take all the weight off of that, and we should be able to slide it anywhere we need to go. it's a little bit more squared up we're gonna try that it is up a little bit higher than I thought but I tell you what that's a really really short slide pattern if you guys remember the old one boy you could slide probably two feet or three that one's a really short one so we really don't have a lot for adjustments but it's looking like it might just work right there because I know when I used to pull the spreads it was I'd keep her about right there and I could get it so I think we're going to try this right here. We're going to lock everything into place, air it up, and then we're going to move the trailer's tandems up just a little bit, and I think we should be okay. Got those slid. Um, we're going to go ahead and split the 40-foot mark. Uh, the, the pins aren't in. We're going to back up a little bit more. And it's going to put this tandem right here a little bit closer to that. Now in a perfect world, we're going to uh, let everything air up, let everything settle down, check the load gauge, pull across the scale. Well, let me show you. Alrighty, there you go. We are uh, back on microphone. Um, don't let anyone tell you that sliding the fifth wheel is an easy task, especially since you really don't do it that much. I mean... This fifth wheel, if I have it set to where it needs to be, I will never touch that fifth wheel again. But I, I need to get it to where it needs to be because we've never, since we've had first class, I have never had a fifth wheel to where I could actually axle the truck out perfect. According to our load gauge, we should be axled out about perfect. About 60 pounds to 62 pounds on this gauge right here should mean about perfect 34,000 pounds or perfect where the weight needs to be it does not give me exact I don't have that kind of a fancy setup maybe someday right so we're gonna let things air up go across the scale and see how close we got I'm hoping we're close because well I scheduled a live stream today 
and I'm hope I didn't I'm hoping I did not schedule it too early because we still got to get home get parked and go do that well here we go uh, never mind that that's just one of the cages I use for this camera I tried doing uh, just a bunch of different cages in one camera but I, I need a designated camera to talk to you guys on that way I can just grab it when I'm jumping out all right we got 12,000 on our steers just a little bit over 12,000 33,860 on our drives and 32,920 on our trailer tandems for a gross total of 78,820 we are full of fuel that's cool that's cool we are actually axling out a load of ice cream how rare is that that's extremely rare. Actually, I've never done it before. Even in my Freightliner, I couldn't axle out a load of ice cream. Let's get out of here. Let's go get our paperwork. Alrighty, we have our paperwork. I have you guys put up on the dash. Um, the truck should ride a lot better. With, with everything moved forward a little bit, and I'm not going to get the whole seesaw effect. I should get a nice level ride like that. Let's go give it a whirl, see if we can break anything or not break anything. And since 90% of you are probably here just to hear first class anyway, I just will stop yibber-yabbering and get to it.
sure if you guys can hear me, but uh, we got first class's uh, clutch adjusted when they did work on it in the city. And anybody who has uh, had some clutch work done on your truck, you got to get used to that whole grab point. So far, I've only tried ripping my head off twice, but I, I, I'm not going to hold my breath on if you guys are going to see me rip my head off a couple times. I still can't believe we are axling out an ice cream load. That is unbelievable that we are. Whenever I haul ice cream, you always gotta jump it up to, just jump it up 2,000 pounds because they don't figure in the pallet weight on there. As for ride, okay, let's talk about the ride. The ride was was great. Why is a lean we talked about earlier? Um, the trailer didn't lean near as much, near as much. Now I'm not saying that other style of fifth wheel slider is any worse than this style. But just that's how wore out my fifth wheel and fifth wheel slider was. You know, originally I wasn't going to replace the actual fifth wheel because I really, really liked that fifth wheel. I think it was a joust. And uh, uh, the shop called me and said that uh, there was a goof up on ordering and those new rails that I'd bought would not line up with a joust. So, you know, he originally said, oh, I think, you know, I can get you a fifth wheel and give me another 1800 bucks, 2000 bucks. I'm like... I'm not spending that kind of money for a fifth wheel when I have a perfectly good one on there. I'll figure something out. Well, the shop it was at, they said, okay, give me a second here, and they called one, and that actually is a rebuilt fifth wheel. It's a re, uh, re, re, whatever. Basically, the fifth wheel's new, but it's, it's, the, it's the style I need to get a fifth wheel puller for, because this style, the last time I used them, you know, you got to give those some pretty good yanks to get them unhooked. I don't know, we'll see. In the wise of my old fifth wheel, it was just lift up, over, and it'd slide right out all the time, no troubles. This one might be like that too. It might just be a straight out, no troubles at all. It, like I said, it is a new one. Oh yeah, uh, that truck we seen up there in Lamar's, that was uh, uh, Misty. Misty, hello, Misty. Thank you for watching the channel. I truly appreciate you watching the channel. That's for right now. Uh oh. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Where'd it go? Oh. Well, we just threw the hood open on there before we jumped in the car with Miss Warden here. Hi, Warden. Hello. And uh, the whole grill's busted behind there. Uh, if you guys are familiar with Kenworth, 
it, it's it's basically a fake condenser that goes behind the screen there and it, it's busted all the way down one of those things that we were planning on fixing can we run by the post office quick okay but i just uh i i didn't get it fixed all right i haven't got it fixed yet so we're just going to fix it a little bit sooner than what i thought that's one of the things on a winter project i did not want to do and uh, just ran into Roger back there, another subscriber, which I didn't know. That, that's It's always funny when you find out someone local with you as a subscriber. So then you feel kind of, oh boy, you know. But it, it works out. So we ran into two subscribers today. We're doing really good. I'm going to run in here to the post office, check the P.O. box quick. Then we're going to get home because I have something I got to get ready for. I haven't told her yet, but... Oh, I saw. Oh, well, we got to get ready for a live. I don't know if she's going to do it with me or not, but I know I'm going to... Um, I think I got a mad kid, so I don't know if he's going to or not. Ooh, Warden. This one says Kurt and Warden. Nice. This one's trucking with Schmidt. Don't bend. That's going to be a picture. What do you think? Probably. I think a picture. This one, I don't know what's going to be. I guess we better open them up when we get home and find out, huh? Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you, too. I've just been dealing with a an grabby ass kid all day. An angry child. Why, why do you swear every time I put you on here? <laughs> I don't know because I don't usually swear. You, you don't. You don't usually swear at all. <laughs> and every time I put you on camera, you swear. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't uh, know. Okay. Like I said, I don't know what I said. All right, I lost my helper. But you guys are going to see these in the live stream if you're part of it. Look at these drawings. I got to get frames for them, get them framed up. But the, the talent that people have, and I've said this before, the talent just flat out amazes me that my subscribers have. I mean, look at that. Just beautiful. Beautiful. I love this one right here. It has Opie in the first class sitting right there with the trees in the background. Just perfect. Gotta get frames for them yet. Speaking of frames, look at this one. You think that's it, right? Watch this. Look at that. You guys see that? Those are lights. There is lights inside this picture. Once again, more homemade stuff. I just, I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. And then, you know, when they come with a, you know, handwritten notes, I, I never will read these letters on, on the air, but like, you know, this one came from Ken, you know, just, just beautiful. You know, then these draw, drawings, you know, from the Songer family, I mean, oh, you know, you know, we got, uh, you know, sympathy cards, handmade pot, pot of hand warmers, and you know, these came from uh, down in Texas, uh, Chris and, Chris and, is it Romy? Let me check the card. Yeah. Yeah, Chris and Romy, handmade those. Sent them our way. That is just, just phenomenal. And then the stuff that's not handmade, you know, I got a, uh, a package in the mail here. A, um, oh, I guess you could call it, um, you know how, people give care packages this is a, a, a man's care package and I, I like a man's care package here we got glass cleaner we got metal protector we got this um, repels mud and dirt stuff to get on her miracle wash you know it's all amsoil stuff I've never tried it before but I'm gonna give it a whirl I really am so getting all this stuff just like I've said before guys I, I truly appreciate it and always will you know the reason the original reason I put up the the uh, um, the address the PO box on my page was you know, I wasn't hey not now I wasn't going to originally but Opie I said not now but uh, you know another youtuber told me that things like that really make people feel better and my channel's always been about making people feel better at least most of the time I can stay chipper and uh, so I put it up there, and if people feel better sending me stuff like that, I know I feel great. I mean, that's just, just awesome. It truly is. But as for right now, what did you do now? Hey, hold still, hold still. 
What is that? Opie or Jax? How do you do this? Huh? How do you do this? Oh. Opie, you sit down. You sit down. Those pictures are. <laughs> they're wound up i'm gonna play with them guys i hope you enjoyed today's video we're gonna be back tomorrow with where we're going how things are gonna go and a little bit more probably about that fifth wheel other than that you guys keep yourself safe as always i'll see you next time all right we're home now oh i scared you you guys have been wondering where the pigs are at Yes, yes I know. That one right there is Chubby Cheeks, aka Honeydew. This one's my favorite, Winnie. Hi Winnie. You wanna say hi to the camera? Oh you do. I know you love this camera. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>